Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be getting ready. Duh, that's why we're here. And I have so, my hair is so long. Are you seeing this? It's like, it's long, honey. I don't know what I want to do today, but we're gonna do something. So I'm going to put on some primer water by Smashbox. I have like under an hour for a face. So I was kind of thinking, what is it even called? What is this trend called where you're like natural and fresh? It's called something. Is it like fox eyes or something? I don't know. I'm gonna start off doing my brows. This is the Brow Lux. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe we'll back it up. <laughs> and we're gonna fill in our brows. Today is like, I'm going to a birthday party and my birthday was just, I'm taking over this birthday party. It's not my birthday party, <laughs> but it's my friend Gus's, but it's mine too, right? It's mine too. His, his birthday is until next week. So we're gonna be, doing this look and I just want to have like a natural like I have like super long hair <sighs> just like feel a vibe a vibe of something I was gonna do a full-on smoky eye but I thought no it's too much Ugh, and it's so hot in here I didn't have the AC on all day just because I was just lounging around doing nothing but if you've been here you know that when I sweat literally my eyebrows sweat nothing else like in my brow right here it's so funny lord help me like just trying to place product is just not happening for me but that's fine we'll just have a natural brow right <sighs> i hope everyone's staying safe through all of this here in manitoba things are like opening back up again and like weddings are sort of happening sort of i actually have my first wedding of the entire summer yeah you heard me right <laughs> the entire summer next or this coming up Sunday, or I mean Saturday. I work on Sunday too. I don't know what that is, I think it's a trial. I'm using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop just to define my brow. This mirror is so far away. I took my tripod off. So because I live with Brandon, I can't have like my filming stuff just like in my living room kind of thing. And my old apartment I had like I don't know what I would call it. Like a den, I suppose, ish. I don't know what that would be called. But I had a separate area for all of this, so I could have my this desk away from the wall and I could have my, my big ring light, which is here, and then my camera attached to it on its tripod. And then I would just use like my other ring light, which is a 12 inch, that's an 18 and 12 inch as a fill. And then I had another box light as a fill on the other side. But because I live in my bedroom, or this is in my bedroom. I have my desk against the wall and so I took my tripod away because it was very high. Like it's way too high and the angle of it, like in my last videos, it's just so high. It's like way too high. It's like, it was so funny. This angle's funny too. I could probably zoom you in a bit. But um, yeah, that's better. But I literally have it on this jewelry box thing from Bowring and then a Jeffrey Campbell shoe box. I literally feel like, <laughs> like old school. And I never even did that when I started, when I started YouTube. My dad had a tripod and uh, it was always in the basement in my brother's room, old room. And then uh, it was in this bottom drawer of his old dresser. And so when I started YouTube, that's the tripod I always used. I actually left that tripod accidentally um, in Toronto at my office at NYX. So I don't have that tripod anymore, <laughs> which is depressing. <laughs> NYX, if you're watching, I will trade you the Google business passwords and emails for all the stores in Canada for that tripod. Is that a deal or is that a deal? I feel like that's a deal. Hit me up if you want the Google passwords because I want my tripod. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god my brows so sweaty these are so uneven so yeah this is literally on jewelry box jeffrey campbell shoe box and then i have a Too faced blush right underneath the lens to prop it up a bit and uh the shoe box lid is definitely gaping open and the camera is like you know if, if we make it we'll make it but i don't know okay so i'm going to be doing a little tape action which i have not done some tape oh my god i just wasted all that 
You know what? I'll take it from here. That was stupid. Ugh. I'm going to be taping my eyes up. I like to follow my natural bottom lash line with this. Drag it up to my that nether region. Not my nether region, but that this nether region. <laughs> this tape. And then the other eye. I'm going to attempt to get them as even as possible. My trick, um, what I do when I'm trying to make things even, I'll literally look at like the center and I'll like switch from like side to side and I'll like try and like look at my peripheral vision as well. Like I'll, I'm literally looking here, but I'm also looking here. Does that make sense? This one's up too high. Oh Lord. Again, if you don't know how to work with tape, put some powder down so it doesn't completely stick to your skin, but this ain't my first rodeo, so I'm just... Okay, so I wanted to do this because I want just a nice, like, cat eye, and I don't want to try, and I don't want to... <sighs> I don't want to try, pretty much. So, I have here the Naturally... Not the Now, oh my god. The Warm Neutrals Palette by Sigma. I love this palette. As you can see, it's gotten a lot of love for me. I love this shade. It's just, like, me in... <laughs> in an eyeshadow. Cleaning your brush here. And I'm just going to take some of this and just swipe it right along here like just something so easy and you know what I might even take I'm gonna take some of the shade humble which is just like a bone ivory and I'm just gonna swipe that with my finger just across my lid just so there's something there so it's not just completely bare and just to make sure that that concealer doesn't crease at all so gorgeous so yeah what's the shade called passion fruit all right what is passion fruit I know what passion fruit is I can't picture it right now what is passion fruit? I feel like I'm thinking of guava, but that's not correct. <laughs> it doesn't matter. What is passion fruit? No, I'm thinking of dragon fruit. I don't care. Anyway, so I'm just blending this. Gorgeous. I want to be just so lazy today with my makeup, but still like look so beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Why does my hair always get like frizzy right here? It's like from turning my head. Why? Why does this happen? Okay, I'm just gonna keep blending this right across my lid. Gorgeous. And before I rip my tape off, I'm just going to grab, this looks like a decent brush. This is another Morphe brush. And I'm gonna grab the shade Henna. Do I want Henna? You know, I'm gonna do a mix of Henna and After Hours. This is like very warm. This is kind of more of a, this is not that. I'm just gonna do it right where my eyeliner would be. Oh yeah. I honestly, okay, I just keep like seeing girls like do like this really like simple, like just like wing shadow liner thing. And I feel like I've seen people call it, is it fox eyes? I don't even know. I haven't even like seen what they do, but like from like just glancing at it, this is literally what I think it is. So I thought, hey, if we need to put a name to it, fine. Let's do that. Gorgeous. I think that's perfect. Do I want anything in my crease? You know what? I'm going to take whatever's left on this brush and just do the outer. Do I want that? No, so I'm going to stop. I don't want that. I might have wrecked it. Oh no, did I wreck this trend? I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe. So cute. Now let's take these off ever so carefully. Wow, that's gorgeous, isn't that? That is stunning. Oh, since I've been putting makeup on, my eyes get so irritated so easily. Some Chanel Hydra Flash. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like everything. Oh, and my allergies is just out of this world. I'm just putting a little bit of this balm on my skin. And, ooh, there we go. I need some lip balm. But I don't think I have any out here. You know what? I'm just going to put on some of this Stila... I don't know, this was in my car unopened for so long and I had grabbed it and it was in my purse because I bought it for my kit and then it just like kept, it was in my center console, then it was in my glove box and then it was, I put it in my trunk so I can put it in my kit and then I never did that. It's just like, I can't even help myself. I'm going to be using the Reboot, Reboot Foundation from Makeup Forever again today. Because this foundation's gorgeous. 
yes honey and because my skin is so beautiful i hardly need any that's gorgeous too anyway so i grabbed that and my lips were so dry one day and i don't remember what had happened but i took all of my lip balms out of my vehicle for some reason i had that in my center console again so i was like you know what it's been like a year and i have not put this in my kit even though i want this shade in my kit just so it's mine now and now i have to use it which i'm not the biggest fan of just a lip gloss on its own like this so it's it's a learning thing for me learning to love this i'm really trying to hurry guys which i don't mean to but i got places to be people to see gorgeous photos to take okay and since we're doing this fox eye thing if that's what it's called i'm going to be taking a super light concealer so i'm going to be switching to the infallible just because i want that lift to my face i'm gonna pop this and hope that that carries on i'm not gonna highlight the rest of my face i don't care i'm as white as they come it ain't getting any any it's it is what it is <laughs> i did the tape because i didn't want to muck around with this too much because i ain't got time i understand why people like people get angry when you use tape like I'm not talking like me as a makeup artist, I'm talking about like on YouTube. Like I remember I always used to use tape on YouTube when I was doing tutorials because it's like why wouldn't you make your life more simple if that's an option? It's like using a stencil when you're airbrushing. Of course you're going to use a stencil. You're not going to like freehand scales on someone. You're going to use a stencil. To me, tape is a stencil. That's a stencil. Oh yes, I see this fox coming now. Foxy fox. Foxy, foxy, folks. I just like every time I try and do a matte eye, I just I want to add glitter so badly. <laughs> oh, also, my allergies have been so bad, you guys, that I was like looking this up and I keep getting like clogged pores inside my nose from the amount of this is so gross, but from the amount of like snot that's in there. And I have one right now that's inside there. It's like so swollen and so tender. And I feel like you can see it. Oh, like this hurts so bad doing it, but beauty is pain. And I still need to get a new powder. Like I'm having, I'm at this stage in my life. Oh my God, this hurts so bad. With my makeup where I'm like, it's so wasteful to me. Like the amount of makeup I have like every eyeliner I've ever received, every foundation I've ever received, every con well, not concealer, every eyeshadow palette I've ever received, you only use it a certain amount of times, right? And then it expires, la di da di da. And I feel really bad that I have, that I, I'm not joking you, I probably have $200,000 worth of makeup in my apartment and I have given away so much and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to like brag or anything right now um but when a makeup company like for existence existence for example when cover effects sent me their whole uh line like 40 foundations or whatever at $50 a pop that's like $4,000 right so you kind of have to figure out like oh so I'm, I, it's an honest estimate that it's probably $150,000 to $200,000 of makeup that I have. Brushes, makeup, I'm not even really including skincare in that to be completely honest with you. What a fun task it would be to like add that up. Anyway, I'm not trying to brag, but it's just like, it's so wasteful to me and I give so much makeup away. Every single year for Christmas, I give all my friends a giant, like, giant box of makeup and um i'm sure worth well over um, definitely two thousand dollars and i give a lot of social prizes away which are valued at a thousand dollars i give so many of those away um and i just give it to, away to my friends family all the time anyway what i'm saying is is i feel so bad that like like all of my eyeliners like all of the like crazy colors it's like you use them like once or twice like when you're swatching them or you're trying them and then you don't really ever use them again and like 
I can't give away a used eyeliner. It just sits there. And I'm at this point where it's like, I want to be like going out and buying more makeup and stuff, but then it's like, how can I justify buying more makeup when I literally have so much? And then I'm also at this point where I'm like feeling like I can't get rid of any of my makeup because I'm like, oh, it's memories and like, oh, like when, you know, uh, Urban Decay or Too Faced sent me this, like blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I'm just kind of dragging my nose contour up into my brow just to sculpt my face a bit more. And I guess I'm taking this in my crease now. I guess that's what we're doing. Okay. I am going to add a tiny smack of blush and I'd love to use that one <laughs> but it's covered so oh you know what speaking of Too Faced since I just said Too Faced let's use the peach glow see and like this is one of the things I'm talking about how many times have I used this like none but I'll always love this because I remember I came back from Christmas in 2017 2016 and I drove all the way to FedEx when I was in Toronto and I got that big package and it came with a little purse and I still have that purse. Like I don't want to separate or I don't want to like give that away. I don't want to get rid of it yet because I love it and it's a memory. I don't know, is something wrong with me? Am I like starting to hoard? Is that my life? I'm using Benefit Cookie to highlight because this is my new favorite highlight. I do have Blossom Glow over here. Don't worry. She's, she... Oh my god, she is trying to hold on here. But I really like this uh, cookie highlighter. Oh, it's just so beautiful, you guys. And it's so light and fair for us fair girls. I love that. That's my that's my thoughts on my makeup collection. <laughs> like, I don't know. And I've been trying to get rid of my skincare too. Like, I would always like open a product, try it out, and then I would use like, I don't know, it for like two weeks or a month and like use like this much of it and then put it back in my drawer so I have all these products that are just like semi-used and like I'm trying to like sift through them before I purchase any more or open any more because I have drawers full of skincare too like drawers and it's just so crazy like I don't know I've been removed from a lot of PR lists and like it's fine I don't care I don't get the views like I used to and like my channel hasn't really grown in the last two years at all it's just been stuck at 100,000 which is fine I don't care I'm you know I'm fine with it am I fine with it am I fine with it I don't know I mean I do have that so we got somewhere but uh Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I need to touch up my brow. I guess the moral of my story is I'm trying to live a lower waist lifestyle. And like everyone I know like knows that. And it's so funny. They'll like, if they, like for my birthday, <laughs> my friend Chloe, she's like, okay, this bag is reused. So it's part of your low waist lifestyle. And it's so funny that people have like clued into that. <laughs> Cause like, yes, yes, queen. Okay, so I guess at this point we're going to do, no, I'm going to put a little bit of eyeliner on. <laughs> do I want eyeliner on? Not really. I have here the Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner by Maybelline, and we're going to add a tiny little bit just to cap off where I'm going to put my lashes. And I grabbed this because if I remember correctly, this didn't bleed in my inner tear ducts. Oh my god, what did I just do there? Oh my god. You guys, I swear I need glasses or something. <laughs> I love this eyeliner. Like truly, I actually really, really do. Oh, for lashes, I'm going to be using the ones I got off AliExpress. It's not these two. These are just random lashes I stuck in here. It's these two. I've already used a pair a couple times, so I want a fresh pair for today since I'm going to be seeing people in here so beautiful hold on like look at that they're so pretty these ones and these ones like hello I'm part of trying to get rid of stuff I'm gonna be using what I can never remember the name of this full frontal by Fenty it's just it doesn't roll off the tongue for me it really really doesn't but what I am going to do <laughs> this is what I did the other day I have the curler mascara by YSL here and I love the brush of this 
So I take the brush out of the full frontal. Not that I don't love that brush or like that brush, but I love these are hair on it. There's just cat fur everywhere, I'm telling you. It's like insanity. I love the curler brush on this YSL mascara. I just, it speaks to me. It's literally the shape of my bottom lashes. And I live for this. Is it possible for your lashes to shrink during quarantine? I feel like my lashes have shrunk. Like they're not as long on the bottom. Is that possible? You know what else has been so crazy? This whole um, Micah Stoffer or whatever her name is. Stoffer? I don't know. With her adopted child and all that. Like, I have an opinion on it. I do. But I don't know if I... I don't know. I don't know, it's just such a tricky situation where, like, obviously all these videos are, you know, all these drama channels are commenting on it and bringing up old footage of her saying, like, her child's not returnable or refundable or whatever the heck she said, I don't even know. See, I don't even know. Oh, this eyeliner is bleeding up. But why is that? Usually this is so good. Um, <laughs> I guess you could never... You can, my thing is, is you can never judge unless you're in someone's shoes. Like, I watched this video yesterday or the day before, whatever, and uh, they were saying that, you know, they were going over some things she said about how, you know, he was hitting or biting and biting isn't good or something. I don't even know. I don't know it's such a tricky situation like what do you do you know but I guess like if the option is there to you know if you adopt a child like I guess there is that notion of okay well you know I don't know I don't know I, I just I couldn't imagine what they're going through and I just I don't know I don't know you guys what are your guys' opinions on it it's such a, like a tricky situation I don't know all I know is, is, you know, I have my cats and obviously they're like something you purchase into your family, like you adopt them and I couldn't imagine rehoming one of my cats. Like that's the only comparison I can compare it to because I don't have children. So maybe I don't have an opinion on this because I don't have children so I'm not in that same boat. But then like, yeah, I don't know. It's just such a sticky situation. Anyway, don't we love these lashes? I just freaking love them so much. Love them so much. Now let's pop on the other one. And they're just like literally the shape of my eyeball. Oh my god, my god. The band is so nice. Like, ugh. These lashes, you guys, they're gorgeous. Buy some, honestly. This is the best, like, <laughs> $2 I've ever spent in my whole life. Okay, I'm going to let those set up a little bit and then combine them with my lashes. I'm going to be using some of the Brow Sculpt Fast by Maybelline just to brush up my brows a little bit. I've been so into this brow gel, which is astonishing. But I also feel like it makes where I don't have it like look bald. I don't know. It's a love-hate relationship, clearly. You know what? I think I could combine these. Oh, I'm so excited to actually work on Saturday and like do makeup on someone and like do a wedding. It's like insane. It's so crazy that like it's just you just don't work. You just haven't haven't worked. It's like bizarre which I've worked my entire life like the thing is in the winter it's much more relaxed like I don't have as many bookings as in the summer like in the summer I will literally have Friday wedding like Saturday I'll probably have two weddings like doing like six people at each wedding and then Sunday something and sometimes Mondays as well and it's just absolute insanity and in the winter it's not it's not like that but I usually try and do my trials in the winter so then I have, you know, that to do. And you know, like socials and whatnot. Okay, so I really want to do a, what's it called? A nude lip. And I was thinking of doing 
a liquid lipstick, but then also part of me is like, bitch, dig out the gloss. So I did grab like a few options for products here. And I've, I don't think I've ever used this lip liner. It's a lip pencil by Gerard Cosmetics. Is this even a company still? I don't even know. I might have used this once, but like it was in there. I'm like, I've never used this. It's called Share, and the color's actually so beautiful. It's this one right here. I don't want to put more on my hand, but oh, this is going to be... Ew, that's annoying how the lid doesn't go on. It's a little dark for what I wanted, but whatever. Gerard Cosmetics, hey. Remember, in 2014, when I was in LA for the Face Awards, Gerard Cosmetics had a party at the W Hotel. And I don't know if it was the night of BeautyCon. I feel like it was because Alex Faction and I went together and we met up with Desi Perkins and Jaclyn Hill. And because uh, that's who we were hanging out with at BeautyCon. We were with Crispy, Desi, and I literally, oh, it's over here, but I have a picture from there <laughs> at BeautyCon with them there. Anyway, and uh, after we, I guess after, I think it was that day, we went to the W Hotel to the party and I was literally like just so out of my element like it was just absolutely insane I have this Smashbox this is always on lip code lipstick and stay neutral wow that's not what I expected um and I was just so I was like a fish out of water like even to this day like when I was part of the face words and all that <laughs> okay what did I just do like this is so dark I was going literally for nude Anyway, we'll just put some of this lip gloss on it and is this what I want? Oh yeah, the whole time like so many brands would come up to me like everywhere we went, like we were at parties and we were, you know, like <sighs> meetings and whatnot and I was just like, I don't know what any of this means, like I honestly don't. And like so many brands were like, oh my god, I would love to work with you, blah blah blah. And I guess back then, though I hate this lip color. This is not what I wanted. Back then I didn't understand like the power of social media, I suppose, like I really didn't. I just thought like, oh, I'm like online, like probably no one likes me. Like I was just, I think I was just so insecure about it, like confident and insecure at the same time. I don't know, it was like so weird. And like even, like I just remember like being just so like, like timid about everything. Like, oh, thanks, like yeah. And like, I really just thought like no one liked me. <laughs> which is just like so heartbreaking and like I don't know if I was to go back I would have I would have played it differently but here I am okay I could have just put on a liquid lipstick at this point this literally looks like Teddy by NYX in the lip lingerie is that fine I don't know let's add some more contour I suppose anyway I forget where I was going with that story but I will say this though I remember meeting Jacqueline Hill and like we were all on this like couch like hanging out together and like she's literally how she is online like that super bubbly you know just fun like outgoing person and i know a lot of people have their words about her and all that and like saying like ma'am your lip ma'am your lipsticks like ma'am how that happened i don't know like ma'am but you know i will say that she's not from what I knew from the couple days that we spent with her back then, she was like she was online. <laughs> like, honestly and truly she was. And every time I see like comments like, oh, um, that, 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 just so different. Uh, like referring to her like on her videos or whatever, or tweets or whatever, I'm just like, people just don't know until like you know, you know what I mean? Like no one knows you. Like it's so like funny, like just all these assumptions that people make about you i'm just oh my god my eyelash curler i'm taking some cookie and just popping it right here i always love a little highlight on my eye there i don't know why it's not like i need my eyes to be more highlighted but i feel beautiful i feel stunning i feel gorgeous <laughs> like tr honestly and truly i really do i have a kink in my hair oh 
Oh my god, and speaking of, Desi's pregnant. It's so cute. I've been like following her little pregnancy thing. She's so tiny in person. Like just um, her frame. She's just like, she's just tiny. She's just a tiny person. And I, I wasn't expecting that when I met her back when, but she's so tiny. It's crazy. And then me, just like an ogre. Hi. Anyway, I do feel beautiful. <sighs> okay. This is my makeup, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little look. Should I combine these a bit more? Oh, ugh, I hate when I do that and then I mess up my lash. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed me yammering away. I was actually gonna put on a lip injection, but I guess we're not. Here's my fox look on a pale girl, even though every time I keep adding more of this, it just, I don't know. Anyway, this is my neutral, lazy makeup. Anyway, I also have so much white hair. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? Yep. All right. Love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.